like PepsiCo going into today's earnings report. Stock falling 20 points from its high. Based on worries about competition, high commodity costs, you know the usual litany. Then this morning, PepsiCo, yes, later Frito-Lay, Gatorade, Pepsi, reports an excellent upside surprise. Without any gross margin, margin degradation to speak of. And what happens? Well, the stock roars higher, up 4% on an otherwise pretty much sedate day. Uh, where the Dow dipped 28 points, the S&P lost 0.33%, and the Nasdaq declined 0.09%. It turns out PepsiCo's raw cost liabilities are only a few months from turning positive. Headwinds going to tailwinds. Remember, Pep has long-term contracts for commodities that are just now rolling over, something that will give them a huge earnings boost. And you know what? This got me thinking. Maybe the bear market is kind of maybe growing too long in the tooth for some companies. Isn't that what happened with PepsiCo? We've had tremendous interest in the food and drug stocks of late, which are pure recession plays. We've seen upgrades in all the usual staple suspects now. Merck, Kimberly Clark, Amerisource Bergen, McKesson, Cardinal Health, Humana, UNH. Are, they're always on the move these days. Time on recession stocks makes sense. Merck Inc. the new deal with Moderna to develop specialized cancer vaccines. I frankly would rather buy Moderna off that. Atlantic upgraded Kimberly Clark, basically saying, it's enough, enough, enough. I mean, how low can it go? Amerisource, Bergen, McKesson, Cardinal, they're all drug middlemen. Consistent earners, not unlike Ralphie from The Sopranos. As for Humana and UNH Health, you can't live without them. Well, more specifically, you, you can't afford to get sick without them. Just wait till you're my age. Believe me, I tried to figure out how to deal with Medicare and ended up paying a fortune so someone else could figure it out for me. All I know is I pay you mana for all the stuff I used to get for free before I turned 65. Then again, turning 65 is better than the alternative. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.